Shalom, beloved. A word. Java ancestors, Yav Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. We come this day honoring and glorifying thee, remembering thy Sabbath and following that which you have told us to do. For it is our wisdom and our understanding to follow thy commandments, thy laws, and thy statutes. We ask this day that you bless us and forgive us our sins. Let thy word of life, Yeshua HaMashiach, let him come into us, speak with us, guide us, and keep us. Be light on our dark paths as we trust in thee. Strengthen our faith and teach us as we go our way. Father, I ask that you touch my tongue this morning as you have touched my spirit, that the message you have given me that I may give to them as I glorify and honor your truth and your word. Let me speak it as I received it and let it touch those who hear as it touched me. Glory, hallelujah, Father. Thank you for all you have, are, and shall do. Now and forevermore, we give you praise, thanksgiving, and honor. Let all of our professions be of you. Let us glory in you, and when we boast, let our boast be in you. For we have you in our being, and we are because you are. We thank you, praise you, honor and glorify you this day and forevermore. Amen. Shalom, beloved. As I was reading, as the spirit was speaking to me this morning, he gave me a word, weights and measures, weights and measures, beloved. Weights and measures. And it moved throughout my being as I heard the word of the Most High speaking to me. First, I'm going to go to Proverbs. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Yes, beloved, yes, as I thought on the things that are going on in this society, as I thought on the gas prices going up, as I thought on the electric bills going up, I, and I'm speaking and communing with the Lord, he's telling me it has evil weights and measures, evil weights and balances. We know that these prices are corrupt. We know that when we sat through an entire year of COVID, because we were guided by one who is false, see, there was a surplus set aside. It could not help but be set aside because there weren't that many people on the roads. But now all of a sudden there is a price explosion because there are corrupt weights and balances. The measures are corrupt. When we look in the book of Job, chapter 13, verse 4, Yahuwah speaks through Job, speaking of they are forgers of lies, they are all physicians of no value. We were taken into a spell, so to speak, although we knew the truth because he gave us illumination. We are children of the light revelation. We knew about the forgers of lies. They were false, see, the Airways were proliferating with falsy about the lies that that those physicians of no values, they were false, and we were fed on dread and fear and worry about the lies from physicians of no value, false, see, they were false, see, how do we know they were false, see, although it proliferated at one time through dread and fear and concern and worry. Well, you see, according to the book of Job, he identifies it for us. 
when he says, but ye are forgers of lies. Ye are physicians of no value. They were false. See, false. See, was leading us to believe that which we knew not to be true because the spirit of the illuminator, the revelator, our father, who is the speaker of truth, testified to our spirit, leading us into all truth, that they were false, see? But they were gaining power to manipulate people whose eyes are shut. And one of the things these forgers of lies do, they use unjust weights and balances. They do it whether we're speaking of gas prices, whether we're speaking of electric bills, they are false. See, you cannot be an advanced civilization and yet the people are constantly falling back. Why? Because you are robbing them. They come to rob, steal, kill, and destroy, but they are false. See, they are physicians of no value. They are forgers of lies. Yes, 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 using unjust weights and balances. But now, beloved, the most high, it is the time of bringing in the sheaves. It is the time of the threshing floor. We are bringing in the sheaves. The spirit was bringing the sheaves to me. You see the sheaves clean to the grain. We are not just dealing with the wheat and the tares. There are the sheaves that are coming down to the threshing floor. You see, when trouble comes, they want to say we're all alike. We're in it together. But no, 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 no. We have to remember forgers of lies and physicians of no value. False, see, we are bringing in the sheaves, beloved. We are going to the threshing floor. You see, when the sheaves first come in, they surround the wheat. They surround the wheat. But when we get to the threshing floor, beloved, when we go to the threshing floor, it is a time of separation. It is a time of revelation. We, beloved, are at the threshing floor. We have brought in the sheaves, the revelation of the truth of who is who has been instituted. That is why the truth is flooding. It doesn't matter whether the prince of the air using his media speakers who are paid to say those things that they say they do not report the truth. They are skewed because they are forgers of lies where they hold one up and disregard and or just completely omit another. Hmm. But you see, we are at the threshing floor. We are bringing in the sheaves. No, not the wheat and the tares. The sheaves, beloved, that cover the wheat. The separation has come because you see, when the sheaves, when they speak, so to say, it is as though we're all the same. We're all the same. No, 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 no. The sheaves may surround the wheat, but they are not the wheat. We are on the threshing floor, beloved, the time of separation, where the Most High has opened our eyes, where we know they are forgers of lies, robbing, overcharging people for things that there is no reason to. Why? Because the thief only comes in to steal mm, mm, your peace of mind, to rob, to take that which is not theirs, to kill. They don't care if you lose your life, if you suffer unnecessarily so, and to destroy. Yes, yes, yes. But we're on the threshing floor, beloved. We are bringing in the sheaves, the sheaves that want to tell you we're all the same. What I do for you, I do for my own. No, 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 no. There is a separation. Now, we are in the book of Micah, chapter 4, verses 11 through 13. Now also many nations are gathered against thee, beloved. Yes, yes, they surround Yasharel like the sheave covering the wheat. Mm, that say, let her be defiled and let our eyes look upon Zion. 
but they know not the thoughts of the Lord, neither understand they his counsel, for he shall gather them as sheaves into the floor. Yes, yes, yes. You see, the separation has come. That's why so many of us, we see what they are doing and are calling them out, beloved. Mm. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and shall beat, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. Yes, beloved, we are on the threshing floor, the separation the sheaves, when they are broken open, when they are down on the floor, those sheaves that cover the wheat, they are separated, okay, because the sheaves are of no use. It is the wheat that is retained, and the wind and the chafe, they are taken away. They are winnowed, thrown up, and driven away. Yes, yes, some are driven by the winds of war. Some are driven away because of the earth destroying them, but we are bringing in the sheaves, those sheaves that when trouble comes says, we're all the same. No, 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 no. Although they surround Yasharel like the sheaves surrounds the wheat, they are not the seed, beloved. Understand, bear with me as I remember what he said and as I bring it forth, beloved, Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron and I will make thy hoof brass. Why? Because you are breaking open that sheep. You are separating the wheat from the sheep that covers it. Yes, yes, as we are surrounded by those nations, beloved. Yes, now also many nations are gathered against thee like the sheep surrounding the wheat that say, let her be defiled and let our eyes look upon Zion. Mm, mm, mm. But they know not mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the thoughts of the Lord, neither understand they his counsel, for he shall gather them as sheaves into the floor. The separation has come. Why? Because they have used unjust weights and balances. They have dishonored the most high. Now, beloved, we are going do I still have it? Forgive me. Yes, yes, yes. Let me get the book right. We are in Micah 6, verses 10 to 14. Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked and the scant measure that is abominable? Mm, why? Because unjust weights and measures are an abomination to the most high. They have used unjust weights and measures. Even now, they drive up prices that should be stable. They should have a surplus, but they act as though they are in a deficiency. Wait a minute. And there are there yet treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked and the scant measure that is abominable? Shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceit for weight? Yes, yes. For the rich men thereof are full of violence and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. They are forgers of lies and physicians of no value. They are false. See, it proliferated these physicians of no value. And now suddenly that which was killing us, that which they put dread and fear in our head is suddenly poof, gone because they were false. See, it proliferated once and now we can unmask you. Now you were loose to go where you will. Why? Because they were forgers of lies. They are physicians, false, see, of no value. I will finish. For the rich men thereof are full of violence and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. They are false, see? Mm. Therefore, also I will make thee sick in smiting thee, in making thee desolate because of thy sins. Thou shalt eat, but thou shalt not be satisfied and thy casting down shall be in the midst of thee. And thou shalt take hold, but thou shalt not deliver. And that which thou which thou deliverest will I give up to the soul. Yes, beloved, yes, that 
judgment. We are on the threshing floor. We are bringing in the sheaves. The separation has begun. They will cling to the weak as though they are one, but no, it is the separation of the nations, the exposure of the truth. Bear with me, beloved, as I move throughout, as I prepare to finish. Mm, mm, mm. I am in the book of Micah. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail, for now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even unto Babylon, there shalt thou be delivered. You will be delivered out of Babylon. We are in travail, wanting to be birthed into our own city, into our own governance, and not be under forges of lies and physicians falsy of no value. Yes, yes, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of thine, like a woman in travail, for now thou shalt go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even unto Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. Yes, yes, yes. Beloved, forgive me as I move about. I was speaking from the book of Micah, chapter 4. I am now moving to Micah chapter 5, verse 8. Forgive me. I'm going to start chapter 5, verse 7, and then 8. Just as I said, we are bringing in the sheaves. The sheaves surround the weak, but they are not the part that is going to be retained. They are the part that are given over to the winds, that are given over to the flame, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for man, nor waited for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the field, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep who if he go through both tread it down and tear in pieces and none can deliver. Yes, yes, thine hand shall be lifted up upon thy adversaries and all thine enemies shall be cut off. Yes, beloved, yes. I wanted to give this to you as it came to me, the unjust weights and balances. Your eyes are not deceiving you. No, 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 not just the eyes of your head because we are three-part creation. What do I mean? Spirit, mind, and body. The spirit has endued us with the truth, the comforter, the one who speaketh the truth and leadeth us into all truth, all knowledge. When we see these unjust weights and balances, as they drive up prices, be it your electric or your gas bill at a certain time that suddenly doubles so that they can fill their coffers. If you suddenly, and when I say gas, I'm not talking at the pump yet. I'm talking the warmth to keep you warm in your home. Now we go to the pump where it's pump, pump, pumped up. Why? Because of forgers of lies. They are physicians of no value. While they talk about being advanced, they are the sheaves surrounding the weak. But we, beloved, are on the threshing floor, the separation, the revelation, the truth of who they are and who we are and to whom we belong has been revealed. Yes, beloved, yes, forgers of, low, no, of lies. These are the ones who work for the prince of the air. They have no honor. They use unjust weights and balances, not just to measure out the value of what we should pay, but even the unjust weights and balances of the words they speak. They are an abomination because they are false. Yes, beloved, but we honor and praise the most high this day. 
because he has revealed to his servants. He is confirming his word to us and we're bringing in the sheaves. We are on the threshing floor. It is Yasharel's who's who are breaking open and separating the sheave from the wheat. You see, the sheave wants to say we are all the same, but no, 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 beloved, I'm not talking about wheat and tares. I'm talking about the stalks that cover the seed, that nation that surrounds us, those nations that he is separating from us, laying them down on the threshing floor. Yes, beloved, the judgment has begun and he is exposing his beloved to the truth, opening our eyes to revelations. Yes, yes, yes. And we will praise, honor, and glorify him as he shows us and guides us and tells us what is to come. It is a word, beloved, from the most high, from me, to you, speaking through me, the confirmation, the revelation, the separation that is certain for it, is, it has already begun. Father, we will give thee all praise, all honor and glory, for thou art great and terrible, one Lord. We know that thou art a jealous Yahuwah. Thou suffer no rivals, but those who speak in are forgers of lies, they speak as though we are all the same. They speak as though they speak in your name. But we thank you, Father, for opening us up to the truth. May you bless us and keep us. May the oracles of thy word explode in our spirit that we may know who we belong to and glorify you, Father, this day and forevermore. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yah. Amen. Beloved, a word. Shalom.